I'm just thinking out the box. Gather around, true believers that sip you still living. Mint God here with another Mint God theory. Now, what if I told you guys that the origin of the MCU Fantastic Four actually begins in the Marvels? Hear me out. Now, this one's not based on any inside information, but we know Nia DaCosta, the director, loved the Fantastic Four and even put a pitch in for the Galactus movie. Having the Fantastic Four start in the Marvels is massive, and we gotta break this one all the way down. Even before Jack Kirby put his nuances on the Fantastic Four, Stanley had already made it very clear that it was supposed to be four members, no secret identities, and they're supposed to have been friends and family before they got their powers. These are things that make the Fantastic Four authentic. This automatically set the team apart and made it whole. The lead character, Reed Richards, was also the lead scientist looking to launch a first of its kind spaceship that he designed to expand man's reach into space. Facing a slim and closing window to launch his spaceship due to extenuating circumstances, the comic books made it the end of the government funding for the project. The 2005 film had Reed looking for funding, basically begging for funding from Victor Von Doom. The MCU is not gonna have that issue because Victor Von Doom has not been made present yet. But I'm thinking that Marvel Studios version could create another challenge that would prevent Reed's spaceship from launching. And it doesn't have to be the government. It doesn't have to be needing funding. It could be something that has already been placed in the MCU. We already know that Reed was adamant that he had to get this spaceship launched as soon as possible. There were concerns of cosmic anomalies, radiation, some inordinate amount of energy has to be able to give Reed, Sue, Ben and Johnny their powers. Let's remember, the snap the blip has already happened in the MCU. So going into space means that there's already something there, right? In comes WandaVision. Now, remember, we theorized that Reed Richards was probably a lead scientist with SWORD already in the MCU. They already had the rumor that Monica knew Reed in WandaVision, and we know that SWORD had Vision's body. And when White Vision was created and he checked his memory, what did we see? That's right, the Baxter Building or Fantastic Four headquarters. Now there's Saber, and we oh, there it is. This is the moment. Now, if Reed has already been working on all of this, and there was a problem at the jump point in the Marvels, who is this that's going to go through a jump point when you already know that there's problems there? It's so subtle, but that's the Fantastic Four. Knowing that there was a problem with the jump point, Nick Fury would have shut it down. Reed, once again adamant to make sure that he got his ship launched, pushed through. We already know there was a fluctuation of energy. We already have whatever's going on in space at that point in time that could give them their powers and send them back in time or to another dimension or another universe. This creates multiple opportunities for Marvel Studios. One, it gives origin points for the Fantastic Four, which is incredible. Two, it also gives them the opportunity to expound on Saber and what work was being done there. It also makes fans have to go back and watch the Marvels just to see that little point. 
and see how everything is connected the Marvel way. They could be anywhere. They could be in the same universe that Monica ended up going to and meets Beast and Binary. They could be in a, they could go back in time. There's so many different things that could be done just by subtly connecting that ship going through that jump point. And it being Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm. This makes everything that much more exciting and that much more connected. It would also start the Fantastic Four story in space as we heard that it would be more cosmic. It puts it directly in the multiverse saga, which is where it obviously needs to be at. It puts them on an adventure, an adventure that could go anywhere. We need that type of excitement in the MCU right now as fans. So you guys let me know what you think. I come up with some really, really crazy ideas. This one is definitely one for the books. I can't wait till Doom shows up. And coming up with these theories is a form of therapy for me. Stay tuned and follow us at In the Name of Comics. 